hello everybody and welcome back to my channel today i've got something special for everybody because everybody's been so incredibly awesome for the last couple of weeks i have my channel has grown so huge it's just it's wow <laughs> it's blowing my mind and for my my last video that i had up for the uh the circle maker um all the the fantastic funny comments oh my gosh you guys are just amazing and i laughed and giggled reading everybody's comments they were all great and one particular comment from sandy kind of got my attention because she says reminds me of cd cases yes they still make those i love the make and have a project for my circle cutter. So happy to see another maker use Tim Holtz products. I love your backdrop or placemat or contact paper. And she's talking about this. This is a, would you believe a glass cutting board I got off of Amazon. It's much smaller for my desk. Um, it's still tempered glass, so it won't break if I cut on it and you can smash on it and do all sorts of things and it was a lot cheaper than the Tim Holtz craft mat um, but that's what that is and then she says I subscribe to see more wonderful makes what can you create from envelopes uh, Tim Holtz stencils which I have one also his dolls, which I have those. Texture paste. Got that. And seasonal makes. And I have these. So, Sandy, <laughs> challenge accepted. And I plan on making something really cool today. So, let's get into it. So, here we go. I was like debating. I got everything out. And I was like, okay, what can I do with all this stuff? This is brand new. I just got this. Um, and these are the Sizzix Thinlets uh, 660-955. And they're, they're just a beautiful leaves. And they would work any time of the year. Because you've got like your maple and your oak leaves that would work for fall. You've got the, like this little branch and like a little pine needle that would work great for um, winter time, you know, Christmas cards and stuff. And then these three here, which love that they're all in different sizes, would be great for spring and summer. So just depending on what color cardstock or whatever you're using, you could use this all year round. So that's a seasonal make. So I'm going to take some uh, this is just plain old, the same paper we've been using this whole time. Um, and I'm just gonna watercolor it up with some pretty, uh, fall colors, you know, yellows and reds and oranges and golds. And then I'm gonna cut out some leaves from it. So, I'm gonna go do that and we shall continue. So, I will be right back. Okay, so I watercolored this, uh, and this is mixed media paper. And I wanted those real pretty purples and oranges and reds and yellows and golds. And so I placed these a little more strategically um, to cut out because I wanted to be able to use this paper again. So we're gonna put this aside for right now. But here are the little leaves that I cut out. Now those dies are, have like a little raised, like a an empty section where this is supposed to raise up. It didn't really raise up as much as I had hoped it would, but I have a cure for that. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a artist marker in gold, and this is acrylic paint marker. And uh, it works really great. I love this thing. I love this thing. I use it for everything. And what I plan on doing is just going over those little lines like this. And I mean, you could put little ones too. Just kind of decorate them up a little bit. But it kind of gives it just that little extra something something. And uh, 
I'm just gonna follow that line like that. Isn't that pretty? A little bit more right there. So yeah, these are gonna be going on the front of our little envelope. I love a good challenge and when Sandy said, but can you? I was like, oh yes. We are going to do this. So I immediately <laughs> come running into the studio and got all the, the different things together. Could not wait to film it. Had had a few things I had to do first. Like, uh, well, my father is home now. And I definitely appreciate everybody's well wishes and all the prayers and everything that everybody was pumping out. It was definitely what got him home, that's for sure. And he's a fighter, let me tell you. But yeah, he's home and now he's got, we've got nurses and uh, occupational therapists and physical therapists and visiting the house all the time. So it's, you know, this is their first week here. So I, I definitely wanted to be there when, uh, you know, they question him and, and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, he's doing really great. We're just happy that he's home, you know, and come here, come here, quit flipping around. But yeah, he's, he's doing really fantastic and we're just, we're so thankful. So incredibly thankful. And a lot of it has to do with all of you making sure you know got a lot of great comments of you know keeping him in their, their thoughts and everything which is thank you so much we really appreciate it okay Get over there. there we are now they're all decorated up those are good oh I'm very happy Okay, so now we got this, we have to work on the envelope. Now, while I was coffee dyeing it and, you know, doing it up, all this came apart. And I was just like, oh, I'm going to have to re-glue it back together. Um, but yeah, this is what we're going to do. We're going to use this because, and all this, and the dolls, and the texture paste and this is transparent gloss texture paste it has a really cool effect to it I can't wait to show you so this whole thing is going to go into uh, let's see if I can without knocking everything over uh, it's all this envelope is going to go into this pretty little thing and this is a fall journal I was working on and was just going to do a flip through. But uh, with this challenge for this envelope, it's definitely going to come in here and be situated, you know, between some of the pages somewhere. And probably replace this one because this one's not quite fall looking for me. Not enough anyway. So we'll put this back in our bucket of done and uh, we'll put this one in here for fall. So yeah, this is what we're working on. And this is where uh, this envelope is going to go. So let me move these gorgeous little guys out of the way. Come on, everybody on. Come on. Okay. Oh, you too can get away. Alrighty. And like I said, I wanted to use this piece of paper as well. And I also have some doily. Now there's, she, Sandy didn't say anything. I can use extra stuff. So <laughs> that's what we're going to do. Just to be naughty. Um, I was going to put, see, I don't like the shape of this window. I just really want that. So we'll probably, you know, kind of disguise it. A little bit like so so it's not so you know I'm a weird shaped window look at me 
So we'll probably put that like that, kind of cover that up a little bit. But on the inside, to cover the back side here, I was thinking of taking some of this card and putting it, come on, get in there. You know, in pieces in the back to kind of fill in. So we'll have the color on top, but it'll be also in the window behind. So what portion of this, that looks like that whole thing will work with the purple. We want the purple or we want the gold, because I know the gold will fit. Oh, I'm so partial to purple. Mm, it's just almost not big enough. Let's go with the gold. We'll go with the gold. Which, eh, gold's all, it's all good too. But still, I want to make sure we have enough. All right, so. From there. Because all we need is just a sliver of it. We didn't don't need to put the whole thing in there. I just wanted that color. And it's going to go against the back. Like that. And then we'll cover up that funky part with something. You know, the doily and whatever else. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. So let's... uh glue that in. And this is just, uh, yeah, art glitter glue. I'm gonna smoosh that around. Before I put it in, good. All right. Slide down where we want it. Switch over. Nope, we'll do it this way. Okay. Nope, oh, not far enough in now. Before it dries, come on, we're get it in there. Okay, so this way, if something wants to come in here, we don't have to look at that ugly blue background. Now we could put maybe just a, a hint of purple at the top. Yes. <laughs> yes, gotta do it. I love my purple. Can't help it. At least it's got a little bit of color. <laughs> That's good. Alrighty. Now, I still plan on putting something here, maybe. I don't know. We might just use this as a flap, you know, so it can flip open. That's how I did it in my other book. So I may just do it on this one, too. So let's put, um, whoops, backwards. Let's put this, should we put it up a little higher? Or should we wait until after we do the stenciling in the doll? Let's, because I don't want to mess up my, my coffee staining. I'm not using this in its traditional way, which would be, you know, using ink and all that. I'm using 
the texture paste because and I've used it one other time with the texture paste and uh, it turned out really great and it was on a book it was on a journal cover and it looked fabulous okay so let me grab on the leaf and a paper towel and let's see we're going to go ahead and texture paste this and what's neat about this is when it dries because it's clear you can rub around it so you end up with like the oh, I'll show you it's just so cool it's just really cool the way this works so let me pull this over let's move this okay oops so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna align this little curve you know all the because this is primarily where I'm gonna put it I'm not putting it everywhere we're just gonna smear it as far as this can go You do it too much it starts picking up the stain and then it colors it and you don't want that okay and I love this stuff I just I really do I have the uh, transparent matte and the opaque matte also and they work just as well they are fantastic products and they are made by Ranger and yeah, this is, I don't know if it has a number on it or anything. I don't think so. I don't know. But yeah, Ranger Texture Paste Transparent Gloss. I will put links in the, the box below if you want to check out anything I've used today. So let's pick this up. Alrighty. And I'm just going to wipe this off. So it doesn't destroy my favorite all-time, I think this is everybody's favorite all-time stencil, to be perfectly honest. And if you don't have this stencil, you have not lived. I don't know. I really don't think I follow a single YouTuber that doesn't have this stencil. <laughs> but yeah, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. Okay, so you can see. You can see it here around the top. That's awesome. Okay, so now, let me put this aside. So now what we we need to do is we need to wait for this to dry so we can continue on with what we're doing. So in the meantime, I'm going to let this dry. I'm not going to use my heat gun because it could melt this window. So this has to air dry. So yeah, but uh, yeah, I'll be back. Alrighty. Now this seems like I know when I said it's milky, it's still wet. Well, the top is dry. It's the underneath that's because that's, those are like thicker areas. I should have made it super thin. That way it would have dried like this part here. But uh, it's dry enough <laughs> so that we can continue. So, um, oh, I also, while, we, while I've been waiting, I made a pretty piece of lace to go on our envelope. So I love the colors of this. It's very, very autumn-y, I think. I think that was, oh. And it started out looking like this. So... Yeah, sometimes when you don't have the right colored lace, you just got to make your own bling, right? So, yeah, that's what we've done. So, the next step of this is I'm going to take my vintage photo ink and a brush. Not the dauber, but a brush. Because we don't want this to be super um, stiff. It's just, I just want to go over it in the areas between. I 
and I'm just doing it super lightly. Now, can you see how it's like building up around the edges? It gives a completely different look. And then when you're done with this, you've got it just the right tone you want. You're going to take a wet, or not a wet wipe, a dry cloth and wipe off any ink that's on top of your, um, the glazed portion. Because it might build up on there and you don't want it, you want it to pretty much just be clear and shiny. I like how it builds up on the edges. And I think a lot of it has to do with using a circular pattern also. Almost has a leather look to it. <laughs> kind of like a saddle. All right, and I'm gonna take my dauber and ink up the edges of this. As if it wasn't grungy enough, right? If you'd like me to show you how I did that lace, I would, I can make a video on it, trust me. <laughs> it would not be hard to do, because it's very easy to do. Oh, I also have an announcement at the end of the video after we're all done with this. I'm gonna grab a uh, dry wet wipe. And now I'm just going to very lightly, if there's any ink on our shiny parts, we want that gone. See how it's coming off? And that's what we want. They're just off of the shiny parts. So I'm just going over them real gently. Awesome. Alrighty. Now we get to start decorating. Okay. I'm going to pull out my glitter glue and my uh, fabric tack and get to the, get to the good stuff. Alright. Let's, uh, got to grunge this up. Let's run me using it in, uh, some collage. And it's an interesting looking piece of paper. And I think, let's see. Let's tear this down some, rough up the edges by just tearing it. Love that look of a torn edge. And take that off. Some more of that. There we go. And this end.
Oh yeah, that looks good. Alrighty, and I'm gonna put that up the side here, maybe, and put that along the bottom. Mm. Let's cut this down. It is too wide. Just trying to cover up like the stamp mark and all the all that. And we'll put that coming down there like that, maybe. And let's see. We wanted to use this doily. So let's oops, I keep putting it the wrong way. I don't want to cover up pretty much any of that. But we also have our Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We'll put that down first, and then this, and then this, and then our leaves. There we go, now we got a plane going. And we don't have to use all these leaves, we can just use a few of them. I love this one, this one really. See how the tips are, oh, so pretty. And then we'll have a little bit of cheesecloth in the back. It's like a Rubik's Cube. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> I don't want that white part on there. And we're there. It's at both ends. Okay. Yeah, I think this is going to look cool. Put that like that. And then this at the bottom. Or up the side. And then our little girl can be standing. Let's put her behind this. Maybe. Maybe not. Up. Let's have her standing on a leaf. And put the other leaves get back there. You even have her holding a leaf. Wouldn't that be cute? Have her, whoops. Holding a leaf. Or a bunch of leaves. Ah, oh, that looks cute. And then we can put our... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I do believe we have what we came for. Ah. Oh. Yes. Okay. Let's do this. So let's go ahead and start gluing everything down. I'm going to ink her edges because they're super white and we don't want that. I love the cardstock that these are made out of. Very durable. It can take a lot. There we go. Much better. Okay, so let's... We know she's holding those. And she's gonna be standing on these. Let's see. Do I want to use this white piece of paper? I don't think so. Now that I'm looking at it, it's just too busy. Okay. So, move everything aside and start gluing. I'm gonna use my or glitter glue for this. Part. And I'm not going to get too fussy about where the glue is going. 
Especially since it's a doily. Doilies can be such a pain. But they're so pretty. So. Let's pull it down a little further to the bottom. Come on, get over. Scooch. There we go. And all this will continue to dry too. Okay. Get that out of the way. That's still drying. <laughs> now we're going to put down our cheesecloth. I think some of it hanging off would be kind of cool. I'm not going to get too fussy about that either. Are you going to be clogged and give me a hard time? Of course you are. Come on. And today. Oh, there we go. leaves down and I'm going to go ahead and use the Fabri-Tac on this also because it's going to be going over cheesecloth so just ample amount of glue try to make sure I get all the little points because we don't want those lifting up and poking that would not be good okay I'm going to put it like so. And then this one will come up a little bit higher. Come on. There we go. I'm kind of a stickler for little peely uppies. That just drives me nuts. So I always go back and check everything. <laughs> Make sure it's on the envelope. And I don't want those sticking over. So, there we go. Our little girl and our leaves that she's going to be holding. And we're going to have her standing on that leaf, right? Like that. Yes. So I hope you all had a really good week and that it was a fun and productive week for you. Because if you're going to be productive, it might as well be fun at the same time. Okay, put these little leaves in her hands. I just think this is adorable. I love how this is turning out so far. It's 
going to look great in the fall journal. Let's put it kind of coming over a little bit. And we'll put the other one going the opposite direction. So tiny and fiddly. There. Oh, isn't that cute? Definitely. Oh, great. And then we're going to have the fleur de lis. Want to have it right there, maybe? I think that looks good right there, actually. Now I'm going to use, um, Fabri-Tac for this, even though I'm not, well, it's got the fabric ribbon on the back. I don't want to chance hot glue melting this thing all over again. So I'm just going to load this up with Fabri-Tac. Alrighty. And put it right there. That looks great. And I'm just full of glue. Yeah. <laughs> now for our lace. Let's move this up a little. And put it. Oh, let go. Let go, let go, let go. I think I'm going to bring it up a little bit. Yeah. But it doesn't stretch all the way across. It doesn't really... But if I centralize it and put it in the center, it'll look perfect. And it'll have that little hanging out the bottom, you know, of the journal. Maybe. It depends on how I get this in there. Okay. And then we're just going to put this, that strip right there with the pearls. Right on our glue. There. Oh, that looks awesome. I'm so happy with the way this turned out. So cool. So cool. I love all the layering. This shiny part up here with the, the flourish. Oh, that just made it, I think. Nice. Alrighty. So that's our envelope. That's our five item challenge from Sandy. Thank you, Sandy. I had a ball. This was very, very fun. And uh, yeah, I think we are good when it comes to uh, all five of our uh, items that she requested. And if anybody else wants to see anything like this, please let me know. I, I love a challenge. Oh, and uh, yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this. And definitely thank you again for helping, you know, saying prayers and, you know, keeping him in your thoughts. My dad is home and he's doing fantastic. And also, one other little thing, one other little doodad, today is my mom's birthday. So he was in, he was home in time for her birthday. And uh, yeah, my, my niece and her boyfriend came into town to help celebrate and we were just having a great time here. So I definitely, definitely appreciate everything y'all do. And thank you so much for all the subscribers, new subscribers. Thank you. You guys are just the biggest rock stars ever. And, uh, Thank you for making my last video just blow up. Uh, yeah, and right now it's sitting, still sitting at uh, 1,700 views. <laughs> I never thought in a million years. But uh, yeah, it's been, it's been fantastic. And I do appreciate each and every one of you every day. And until my next video, I sure do love you bunches. Bye.